Hello and welcome to my presentation. Hello. This is going to be a presentation on how to send an email through the computer okay. and through Outlook. Okay. Um, please leave your questions till the end and um, keep your phone on silent. Okay. Um, today we're going to cover how to send an email. So I'm going to show you how to do it and mm -hmm. when you do it and then I'm just going to briefly discuss with you the benefits of email and um, some tips okay, perfect. on sending emails. So firstly, you go to the computer, mm -hmm. type in Google, then go to Outlook. Yes. It'll prompt you to sign in, so sign in. Okay. Then go to New Mail. Mm -hmm. Then type in the person you want to send the email to. The email, yeah. Add a subject. Mm -hmm. And then write the email. Yes. And then press Send. So do you want to give it a go? Yes. So we will go back to Google. Yes. So firstly, go to Outlook. Go to Outlook. Oh, yep. Yeah. And then sign in. Yep. The new email. The new email. Mm -hmm. And then you type the address. And then. And then there you type in who it's sending to. Yeah. And then the subject? Yep. And then I type the email. Yep. Okay. And then press send. Yeah. So that's how to send an email okay, perfect. on Outlook. <coughs> Thank you. <coughs> the benefits of using an email is that it has immediate outreach and can deliver to someone immediately. Yes. That the email has geographical outreach, it can be delivered to anyone, anytime. Mm -hmm. Email is easily accessible. Email can serve as a record, so you yes. have a record of your communication. Yes. Sending an email, you have <coughs> record of the communication. This can come in handy for business or any other related matters where a record of the conversation can be kept. Email is easy to track. Yes. Email allows targeted communication and can be sent to an individual or a group of people. Mm -hmm. Email is also free and you can send anywhere in the globe. It's a great resource that can be used for business or personal. Yes, perfect. So, I've got some tips here on using email in the workplace. So, use simple language. This will help get your message across. Yes. Share links for large files. To send multiple files via email, you can attach the document. Unfortunately, this may not be the most effective method as attaching documents take time and some files might be larger than the others. The recipient may not choose to view the attachments since they would have to download them. Yes. Consider the privacy of the message. Make sure to maintain a possible and professional tone in your email messaging. This can support your employees' understanding of your professionalism and support your efforts to work efficiently. Yep. Use the right punctuation. In writing, punctuation is important to relay a clear message. For example, exclamation marks express shock or excitement. However, don't use exclamation marks in formal emails because they are unprofessional. Mm. Be careful to include any necessary punctuation marks. Okay. So that concludes my presentation. Okay. Um, do you have any questions? When can this be used? Anytime you would like to send an email. Okay. And who can use it? Everyone and anyone. Okay. Where can I find more tips on trying to use email? All online. Just do some research into the information and you can find everything you are looking for online. Excellent. Thank you. And thank you for watching my presentation. Thank you.